Hi guys, it's Alex from Cars On Board and welcome to episode 3 of the Video Club. Unfortunately, I didn't pick any of the fans' videos. We only got like about 3 submissions and I didn't find any of them to be too interesting to be honest. But uh, keep submitting and uh, once I find one that's pretty cool, I'm going to show it on one of these episodes. So this episode is basically going to be about 240s. I'm going to show you 3 videos of Nissan 240SXs. The reason why is because I've been messing around and thinking about getting a 240SX again. For the people that don't know, before I even had the Evo 10, I used to daily drive a 240SX with the SR in it. But unfortunately, it got stolen a while back and the car got stripped and I got a full-time job and I was daily driving in LA and in the summer here it gets to like the hundreds, the average 90s and being stuck in traffic and it was an SR and I never had AC so I was like, oh, I don't want to build another 240 plus I don't want to invest all the money and get stolen again. So now that I have the Evo 10, I have a daily driver, now I want to build a track car. I've been tracking the Evo 10 for a while but I don't want to really do that anymore. I kind of want to start drifting. I've been road racing the Evo. I want to get back into drifting, so I'm thinking about building an S13 chassis, US, just a basic SR20, maybe upgrade the turbo, top, bottom mount, try to get 300 horsepower on a dyno, put a two-way in it, some coilovers, that's what I want to build now. Uh, back then, I used to drift with the welded diff, don't do that, this time I'm going to do a two-way, probably going to get a cause two-way differential, and at the same time, I'm probably going to, as I'm building the car, I'm still deciding if I'm going to do that or not. But if I do decide to do the 240, I'll go and start doing like a small documentary on building that car. And that's going to be on Cars On Board for sure. I want to thank you guys also as well that this month, I believe it was February 2nd, was our one year anniversary. And I want to thank all you guys that have been supporting the channel. It means so much to us. Uh, we're at 14,000 subscribers now. Who knows what will be when you guys watch this video. But I want to thank you guys because without you guys, we wouldn't have this channel. I'm really passionate about making these films for cars. It's like one of my biggest hobbies, cars and filmmaking. So I want to thank you guys for that. With that being said, I guess I'll start with the first video I want to review. So the first video you can, you can check out is called Sug Films. And I'll put all the descriptions down below so you guys can uh, check those links out. And the episode is called Mountain Drifting slash... 1JZ240SX. So this video is awesome because uh, the production value is amazing. It's really good quality. It's about, a, I think, a six minutes, four to six minute video of a S13 Coupe Red. And I believe it has like an origin body kit with a roll cage and it has a 1JZ in it. And it's really awesome. The guy basically goes through the canyons of Washington, I believe, and just starts drifting. And the guy showed some cinematic shots of the car. And that's pretty much it, man. You just check out a really clean S13 that drifts, and they do some sweet burnouts. Check those guys out. They have a bunch of videos on there. They even have an a, a AE86 Corolla on there with some Workmeister wheels. It looks amazing. And their channel's mostly about, like, stanced out cars and just beauty shots. No interviews, no nothing like that. It's like cars on board, but without interviews. But the, the swim photography and the cars that they have are pretty awesome, so go check those guys out. All right, guys, so for the second video, I want you guys to go check out the channel is called Speed Academy, episode Project Grip S14. I believe it's like they build cars and they, sh they document it. And it kind of is what I want to do for the S13 if I do build that S13 drift car. They basically have an S14 that they're building a project to make it a S14 grip car. And they have a, a S14 SR blacktop in it. He, blew, he was at the track and he blew his head gasket. So in this video, he shows you how to remove a head gasket on an SR20 DET. And if you guys don't know what that is, that's a motor from Japan. Most guys import that, that motor here to the States and, and take out their Ks out of their 240SXs and install that, that motor. And it's a pretty cool motor. Stock, it's, it's actually, you can, you can do some drifting in it. Um, you want to up the boost a little bit, but it's a, it's a decent motor to start drifting. Um, I'm sure out of the gate, you probably have like about 170, 180 horsepower. Um, who knows? But I think it's rated like at 200 horsepower. But it's a, it's a cool video. You get to see how they, they do that. And he has three more episodes on that build. And I don't want to spoil, uh, spoil it for you guys. But uh, there's a chain of events that happen to that, that pulling the head out. Because they're gonna he blew the head gasket. So he's going to take the head off and install a new head gasket with ARP studs. And then he runs across other dilemmas. But he has three more episodes. And you guys can go check that out. And I think that's a pretty cool uh, video. And all the other videos that they have on there are pretty awesome. They have some other builds on there. I think they have an FD on there as well. So go check those guys out. All right, guys. So for the third video, I want you to go to check out. It's called Hey Productions. It's the channel. And the episode is called SR20 DET Swap 89 Nissan 240SX S13 Drifting in the Rain. 
Now, the reason why I want you to watch this video is because it's the cleanest 240SX hatchback I've ever seen in my life. Now, the production value on the video is not that great. It's shot with probably about six GoPros. He's got a, um, a GoPro inside the car. He has one outside by the tire. And I believe he also has one uh, chilling on the hood of his car while he's chasing him and drifting. So the gist of this guy's channel is apparently he goes, he finds, I guess, I don't know how he finds these cars, but he goes and finds these cars and interviews the builder that built this car or the owner of the car and talks about um, why he chose this and just asking him basic questions about the car in real time. It's a graphite gray hatchback. It has this like JDM like stock body kit. I think it's a type X body kit in the back. I'm not too sure with the Koki tail lights, really clean look. The engine bay that the car has, it's all like matted black. It's not chromed out and I like that look too. It looks very simple. So the car basically looks like a stock hatchback from Japan with rims on it. But if you just watch the car, it's just beautiful. And I want you guys to go check that out. It's a pretty cool uh, episode. And I'm sorry for the people that are not 240SX fans, but that's what I've been watching lately and these videos are cool. But I think everybody will relate to it. If you're a car enthusiast, you'll I'm pretty sure you'll like it. And that's all I want to say. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Oh, and then here's a... I forgot to mention, here's a new uh, hoodie that we have out on the market. So go check this out and support the channel. I'll catch you guys later next time. Bye. Mm -hmm. My name is Chris Majorvis. I drive a 1994 Mazda RX-7. How I found this car, recently last year, I went on an auto trader. I saw a listing in uh, Chino Hills. 